This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a really interesting Bulgarian padlock from the 1970s. What makes this lock so interesting, at least to me, is the really unusual locking mechanism that it uses. You probably figured out there was something a little bit strange about it just by looking at that key, which is a flat piece of metal with a few dimples stamped into it. And we open this lock just by inserting that key in the side of the lock pressing quite firmly till that shackle pops open. Now when I first got this lock, I had absolutely no idea what was inside, and because of that, I really couldn't even attempt to pick it open. So I reached out on Twitter and asked if anyone had pictures of the insides of a similar lock. And thankfully, one person from Germany responded, and he sent me a link to a blog post of his with pictures of the insides of a very similar padlock. And I'll put a link in the description below to that blog post. From those pictures, I was able to figure out how this lock worked and from there, how to pick it open. Now the best I can describe this lock, I would call it a dimple lever lock. What you have inside is a carriage that runs all the way across the lock and in that carriage are set four levers hinged probably right about here and those levers extend toward the keyway. Once you line those levers up, which is done by inserting the key, four hooks, one on the end of each of the four levers, disengage and allow that carriage to slide to the right. When it slides to the right, the very top corner of that carriage, which doubles as the locking lug for this padlock, disengages the shackle and it pops open. Let me actually show you that right now. There you can see that is the top corner of that carriage. You can see it slides just a tiny little bit before those hooks catch and don't allow it to slide any further. But it's really important to know that that locking lug is part of the carriage into which those levers are set. Because what it means is we can actually use that locking lug to tension the lock when we pick it. So that's what we're gonna to try to do right now. What I'm gonna do is insert this pick right along the side of the shackle and use it as a lever to press on that, on that lock, locking lug, which in turn biases the, the carriage toward the back of the lock. Once we keep the tension on there, all we have to do is reach in and manipulate each of the four levers such that we disengage those hooks. So, I think we just got the first one. There's the second, third, and I think we got the fourth. Let's see, yep, and we got the lock open. So as you can see, it is not a difficult lock to pick open. Once you understand what's inside and how this lock works, even if it is easy to open up, I still think it's a really interesting old lock and certainly one I am happy to have as part of my collection. If you do have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.